Welcome to the IT Auditor Guidelines video for the CA Endeavor Software Change Manager, also known as CA Endeavor SCM. CA Endeavor SCM is an integrated set of management tools for automating, controlling, and monitoring the mainframe software development lifecycle. CA Endeavor SCM is used to maintain software applications and track their versions. CA Endeavor SEM runs under ZOS within the TSO ISPF environment and in batch processing mode. The product provides the following ISPF menu-driven interfaces. The ISPF panel interface, sometimes referred to as the CA Endeavor ISPF Classic Interface. All software development and product administration tasks can be performed from the ISPF panels. The panels provide access to interactive foreground mode and non-interactive batch mode processing. Batch JCL streams can also be written using the standard ISPF editor and submitted from the TSO ISPF. The Quick Edit option. This interface simplifies access to the most commonly used CA Endeavor SEM development features by providing access to all these features on one panel. Your site can also provide access to the CA Endeavor SEM through optional Eclipse-based UI, which runs on the Eclipse environment, or through a customer-written API program. CA Endeavor SEM is highly configurable, and certain features are critical to data security, integrity, and availability. The IT audit guidelines focus on the audit-related aspect of those features. The guidelines recommend that the auditor follow these steps. Number one. Contact the CA Endeavor SCM Administrator and the Site Security Administrator who will help you with the audit. Observe them run the reports listed in the Report Resources for an IT Audit section of the guidelines. Number 2. Download or print the IT Auditor Checklist for CA Endeavor SCM PDF. The checklist lists questions that you should answer about each audit area. You can use the checklist to record any anomalies. Number 3. Read the description for each audit area. These descriptions can help you to understand the audit questions in the checklist. Number four. After you read the description for each audit area, see the corresponding questions in the checklist. Answer the questions to determine if that audit area is implemented and how it is used. Number five. Repeat steps three and four for each audit area. Number six. After you have reviewed all the audit items in the checklist, go through the checklist with your CA Endeavor SEM Administrator. Discuss with the Administrator any differences between what you found and the settings and practices recommended in the checklist. Discuss with the Administrator those questions in the checklist that you could not answer by reviewing the reports. The IT Audit Checklist is comprised of a checklist for each of the nine audit areas. This is only an example of the SMF recording portion of the checklist. There are sections within the checklist, one for each of the nine audit areas including Data Set and Action Authorization Security Control of Administration Files and Privileged Access Systems Management Facility SMF Recording Backup and Recovery Package Facility Footprint Synchronization User Exits Change Control Identifiers, CCIDs, and Comments, and Element Registration. For details on each area, or to view the complete checklist, please refer to the CA Endeavor SEM IT Audit Guidelines article. For additional information, you can visit the websites shown. Thank you for viewing this video. To learn more about CA Endeavor Software Change Manager, connect with other users, and share your own expertise, visit the CA Endeavor community at the URL shown. This concludes this video on the IT Auditor Guidelines.